Howdy, howdy, everyone. So I thought I might work on something a little bit different today. And, but, oh, first, oh, I gotta show you my new shirt. This is, oh, you can't read it quite right. Is This is my epoxy shirt from Mixed Media Girl that she's done um, bleach painting on it. Well, you know, if I'm following along with Marcy and, well, and my other buddies, Erica and Jeff, I'm kind of not doing this shirt a service. I, you know, I need to make it my own. Okay, let's get started. Okay, that's better. So, I have my ATD shirt on for now. So, I get to uh, give a little bit of um, pride to both my uh, art buddies and I can get started on this uh, shirt. I'm gonna get a few things together before I get started. Uh, that's not gonna do, but I'm gonna have a brush there. Let's see if I can get a thicker brush. Does this have alcohol ink in it? Yeah, it does. All right, gonna work. Let's see what we can do there. That one looks pretty good. So I've got a foam brush and I've got a nice detail brush if I need it. And this, these are inexpensive brushes, so I'm not too worried about them getting messed up. And yes, I'm actually gonna do bleach painting on my shirt here. So, Marcy, I know you would giggle if you saw this. <laughs> And I'm okay with that too. So um, I've snatched some bleach from my uh, laundry area and I've got a trick to help out with this. So I'm gonna get set up and, oh, first, I've got this nice little um, board that I used to use a lot when I was doing quilting. And not saying you have to have a board like this, but it's kind of a handy thing. This one, I had a set from my mom and I. So, and we used to do quilting a lot together. Anyway, so it's got a cutting board on one side and then it's kind of padded on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slip this into the t-shirt um, while I'm doing bleach painting so that one, the bleach doesn't go all the way through to the other side because one side will look really good and the other side will probably not give a full mirror impression. It'll probably get a partial. So, you know, you might get, you know, a part of a line and then maybe it skips and a couple blobs or something like that. So I know that that could happen and I wanted to have some kind of barrier at least between the two and go from there. So I'm going to slip this onto that board and set up the camera. So I forgot to say... Howdy, howdy. This is Claire Lawrence. So now that that's done, you know who I am. Anyway, um, so the quilting that I used to do, um, I tried to do, I shouldn't say I tried to do, I did art quilting. And I did some traditional in the sense of doing some quilts for, you know, family and friends, that kind of thing to use for practical purposes. But my main interest in quilts was to see how far I could push it art-wise. And so I did a lot of art painting, or art quilting, I should say. And one of the ways of messing with fabric, of course, is bleach painting. However, you gotta be very careful with that with quilting because you don't want to hurt your fabric so much that maybe that fabric starts to degrade over time. So you gotta keep that in mind. Whereas here, this is a t-shirt. It's only gonna last so long. I'm not that worried about it with bleach painting, so I'm just gonna kinda have fun with this. Why not? So, like I said, I'm putting the board in here just as a stop gap, so that way it doesn't go all the way through my shirt. In fact, I'm thinking about bringing it down just a little bit more. Also, if you want to do bleach painting, I would highly recommend um, well-ventilated area, open up your windows, and that way you have plenty of way, you know, breathing, safe uh, breathing. I hope I'm making sense there. I'm going to bring this in a little bit closer, I think. 
So I don't really have too much of a plan here other than I was being silly in the beginning of the video and I just couldn't help myself. And I did have a plan on doing some bleach painting, but just not a specific idea. So first off, we're gonna show you how this works. All right, this is just to give you an idea of what I'm gonna be working on. It's just a loose doodle for now that I've done with a uh, chalk pencil and just to kind of rough in some stuff. And then I'm gonna get my uh, brushes to start working it out. So he's gonna be a little sketchy and I'm okay with that. Um, just wanna have, have a little bit of fun. So let's get set up here. I think that'll work as far as review. I may continue some things out, like I was thinking about continuing some smoke coming out this direction. So that, that could happen. We'll see how this develops. All right. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is literally sketch it out with a thin pen and, or thin pen, thin brush. Let me show you something cool. So I have an iron on standby, right there, and I can, boom, get that bleach effect right there. So I do have a uh, paper towel handy. Whoops, hang on, hubby is flagging me. All part of the fun when you get cooped up with family. Get a lot of family interruptions. <laughs> That's all right. So has um, being stuck with a family, I shouldn't say be stuck with, I love my family, I really do. I like being around them. But has it slowed down your ability to have creative time? Share, share with me your woes in the comments below. I need to hear these things. I need to know I'm not the only one. My uh, son's birthday was yesterday and he's 21 now. I know, scary. Um, and so we did the best we could with his birthday and one of the things we do is um, that we have a tradition on is I tell them to let me know what they want to eat for their birthday and I will make them something special. And so it has now become a situation where it's not just a dinner, but it's also a breakfast too. I decided I'm gonna make these guys a little bit smaller this is kind of one of the reasons why I like working with something that is erasable in the beginning because you can change your mind and as an artist a lot of times in the middle of a piece I will change my mind a lot so that's not uncommon and if you do this yourself just to give you an idea that some fabrics when they're dyed uh, will bleach a little bit differently. Like even if um, this particular black fabric that uh, Marcy does her clothes on uh, and then I go and get some other black shirts that I might have in the, in the closet, they may bleach completely different. There may be blue undertones, red undertones, or some might just go straight to white. So, Keep that in mind, it might always look a little bit different. And that's okay.
Now, is it important that I hit it with the iron right away? Not really. Uh, for me, it just shows me exactly where the bleach line is, what it's gonna look like. Um, and if I need to add anything to it, because sometimes just waiting for that effect to take in, to come into play can take a while and I might make a mistake with my, my brush. So in this case, I was running up to an area where I'm gonna have a very long fang come out and I went ahead and stopped it because I wanna draw in that fang. In fact, I might even do it with that one line. just so I know where to put the second line. Ta-da! I will continue with this snarl. guy's a grumpy boy, I think. All right. I'm going to do the nose area. And I could keep on doing more bleach painting on top of this. This is just my first initial line. So I want that to be there as my guideline and then I can build up from there. Okay, so I'm gonna keep on going with this, uh, doing the lines and get the line design in, and I'm gonna continue this on uh, time lapse for you guys. I was ready to surrender my heart to you, only you. These lights all around me keep blinding my eyes from you. down and what I'm going to start doing now is just doing some a little bit of shading and um, you see how that kind of has a brushy stroke there I'm going to try and do the same kind of thing but what I'm going to do here is a lot of times when you do shading you work from dark to light but in this case since I've already got the dark of the fabric I'm going to work with the highlights so bring out form through brightening up areas so it's really really tricky to do but i'm going to give it a try why not i've done this a few times with colored pencils on like darker paper and stuff like that i haven't exactly done it with bleach painting but you know it's my art shirt so why not all right
don't tell me why. I know, no, no, you won't save my life. Save my life. Baby, keep on your keep on your making the waves. You and I will never be safe. Be safe. If the walls come down, will you pick me? Tell me, don't tell me why. I know, no, no, you won't save my life. Save my life. Baby, keep on your keep on your making the waves. You and I will never be safe. Be safe. If the walls go down, will you pick me? Save me!
we done? I kind of like how he turned out. All right, the sketchy business of him. And the intensity. I was worried it screwed up on his eye because he drew in the line. But normally you want to have it dark under some kind of ridge. And I've got this line going all the way to the top. So I thought I'd draw around here to kind of distract the eye, meaning your eye, looking at him. Um, and the highlight around here. And that's kind of what started the sketchy business, to be honest with you. It was some way of drawing the attention away from the top part of the eye. So it's funny, it's like all that work to draw attention to, away from that. So here's the overall view. I can get up high enough. And then this is just bleach on fabric. Now, if you do this with brushes, uh, I highly recommend that as soon as you are done, you go wash them out with soap and water. So that way it will salvage the brushes if it does. But if it doesn't, definitely think about using your inexpensive cheap brushes to begin with. And the ones I was using before were definitely, or during this process were definitely inexpensive. So, what do you think? Oh, another last thing. Um, it Also, if you do this on fabric, I would highly recommend that you wash it as soon as you get done. So, and help get rid of some of the bleach residue so it doesn't continue to degrade your fabric. So that's important because you don't wanna have basically a dragon cut out shape on the back of your shirt. That would kinda suck. So <laughs> I'm gonna go immediately to the washing machine and throw this guy in there. Later. I was ready to surrender my heart to you, only you. These lights all around me keep blinding my eyes from you and the truth. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video. Because you never know what I'm going to do next.